Hi friends, welcome to another WPL at Home video. I'm Ms. Alejandra and today we're going to be making some bird watching uh, binoculars. So now that spring is here, if you're out early in the morning for a walk, then you might be able to see some, but it's always fun to be able to have your own little pair of binoculars and there is a super easy way to make them just with things that you probably have around your house. So let's get started. We are going to be needing something to go around um, the binoculars to hang around your neck. So I've just got some yarn, you could use some twine. You don't really even need that. That's just a little bit more handy for when you're walking and you can just quickly look up and drop them. Um, but it's completely up to you, that is optional. You'll need a couple of um, toilet paper rolls and you'll need something to glue or hold the binoculars uh, to each other and then to the string. So I've got a glue gun, but you can also just use um, regular glue if you'd like. You could use tape if you wanted to and kind of just tape them together like around. It's completely up to you. This is just going to be a little bit more secure, so that's what I'm going to be using. And then something to decorate with. So I've got just some really pretty paints um, and I also have some washi tape. So you can use washi tape if you'd like. You could use some stickers or you could just try and paint something super elaborate on there and not do any of that. It's entirely up to you. Um, I still haven't quite decided what I'm going to be doing yet, but I am excited to get started. Okay, so one of the first things that you're going to do is you're going to want to set some, uh, either some paper down, some uh, newspapers, or something to make sure that you don't get any paint on your work surface, because that would not be very good. Uh, I'm just using acrylic paint with a brush, and I'm just going to be taking some of this. I think I'm going to focus on making it just a super plain color. Um, as you can see, it's not, um, it's not coming off super heavy on the toilet paper roll, so I might need just a couple coats of paint just to get the color how I want it. Um, but you're gonna start just doing this. And again, you can decorate these however you'd like. I really, really like using washi tape and I really like using stickers in general um, whenever I have a chance, so I think I'm going to be doing that. Um, so I'm just going to be painting mine just a solid color, uh, like this, at least so far that's what I've decided. Um, and I'm going to let these dry and possibly, like I said, do a couple of coats. It is coming off a little bit nicer there, but I might still need some. Um, so this shouldn't be a super, super messy craft, um, but it's super fun if you have some little ones, especially like I said, um, in the morning. If you go out for a walk, then you're likely to see a ton of birds. And what is more fun than seeing birds uh, flying around, having their breakfast, doing their thing, than doing it with a pair of your very own binoculars. And I think this is a super easy craft, but it's one that we tend to forget about when we're trying to think of what to make, um, especially with something as uh, common as toilet paper rolls that, you know, usually once you've, once you've used up the toilet paper, most people just throw it away or recycle it, but it's nice to be able to repurpose something and make a fun craft out of something that you already have. All right, here's roughly what it looks like. I think I probably will need another coat. So I'm gonna let this dry right there. I'm gonna get started on the second one. I'm gonna let them both dry completely. And then I'm gonna do um, the second coat and let that dry completely. Um, you definitely want to make sure that they dry before you start using glue or before you start trying to decorate them, only because then it really will get messy. So I'm going to do all of that, and then once they're dry and ready to go, I'm going to show you how to put them together, well, how to decorate them, and then we're going to put them together. Okay, friends, so we're back. Um, as you can see, I did like a coral color um, on the two ends and then some yellow in the middle. I actually really like how it looks. It's fully dry now. Um, and I did a test run down here. So as you can see, we've got our washi tape started. So I'm gonna start decorating these. Um, and like I said earlier, you can do whatever you would like with um, with your decorations. You can do some more paint and just paint this all one color and try and make little drawings. Um, you could use crayons or markers or just a bunch of different stickers. I actually really like washi tape, so I'm gonna be using that. Um, and because we have a bird for your eye sign, which is that's most of the time when we see birds, it's because they're eating um, out of our bird feeder. So I think I'm gonna go with like a kind of like a food theme. So let's do I'll do a different size. Um, 
and you can decide how you want to decorate these, how much space you would like in between. It's completely up to you. Let's see, I'm just going to try and get that a little straight. Just like that. All right. Cut them off right there. And then here we go. So I'm going to keep going and I'm going to keep decorating these. Um, and then I'll use just a few different colors, things like that. And then when I'm done, I will show you what that looks like so that we can get started on actually putting them together along with the little like binocular holders. Okay, so our binoculars are almost done. Um, I ended up decorating them like this and I actually really like how they look. I think the food themed washi tape goes really well with uh, the bird feeders and I think the, the color um, going from coral to yellow to coral actually looks really cool with the washi tape underneath it. So I'm very excited about this. So our last step is going to be to measure out enough yarn, twine, or whatever it is that you're using um, to make sure that it'll actually wrap around your neck. So I would say just take it actually behind your neck and just try and see if it'll fit comfortably. I'd say about this much is good for me. Um, you can always make it bigger or smaller if you'd like. Let's see, let's cut that just right there. That might be a little too long, but that's okay. I would rather have too much than not enough. So then you're gonna take one end. Oops. Left my glue gun running. There we go. So you're gonna take one end and you're going to just add a good amount of glue to it. Just like that. And then you're gonna take it out here and just press it into the binocular, into the tube. And then be careful because it'll probably move around a little bit. So what you might want to do, and you can see it's in there, but not super secure. I'm just going to take my glue gun and just run some more along there just to make sure that it's nice and glued on so that it won't come off. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. So I'm going to start with the end of the string. Just apply some glue like that. Be careful with the strings that come off the, the glue when it's melted. I'm just going to take this and put it on the outside like that. And like I said, it's going to want to move around a little bit. Take that out and I'm going to apply just some more glue. All over the place like that. I think as you can see, so it's got lots of glue on that side and lots of glue on that side. I'm just going to let this sit just for a few minutes, just to make sure that the glue is all dried and then our binoculars will be completely ready. Okay, friends, so we're done. I have um, the binoculars around my neck and this is what they look like. I think these are adorable. I love how they came out and I think they are going to come in very handy when I go for a walk in the park or a walk in the morning. I think this will just make uh, looking for birds just a lot more fun and I think I really like how they how they came out with the two colors and then the washi tape um, and like I said of course you can do yours completely differently and it's so much fun and the cool part is that because toilet paper rolls are generally pretty easy to come by you can keep doing this craft again and again and again and again until 
you've done every design you want to do and then some. So I think this is a really fun craft to keep in mind, especially for a cold or rainy day. It's actually pretty cold outside today and it's kind of, it's been raining on and off. So I think this is a great thing to take your mind off the weather and maybe not being able to go outside just yet and looking forward to being able to go outside eventually and use these. We hope you enjoyed them. Thank you so much for spending time with us. Don't forget to check out our event calendar to see what other fun programs we have coming up for everybody. And thank you so much. Bye.